With most of the rest of the federal government still locked in a shutdown, Treasury Secretary Jack Lew on CBS's Face the Nation called on House Speaker John Boehner to let a debt ceiling bill come to a vote. But on ABC, Speaker Boehner said responsibility lies with the White House. The nation's credit is at, at risk because of the administration's refusal to sit down and have a conversation. They're saying it's at risk because of your refusal to pass a clean debt limit. If there have been some reports. We are not going to pass a clean debt limit increase. Under no I circumstances? I told the president, there's no way we're going to pass when the votes are not in the House to pass a clean debt limit. And the president is risking default by not having a conversation with us. The debt ceiling debate is up against an unforgiving timetable. On October 17th, 11 days from now, the government runs out of money to cover its regular bills. On the 23rd, $12 billion in Social Security benefits are due. On the 30th, $6 billion in interest payments must be paid on the national debt. So we're going to bring in Mark Zandi now. He's the chief economist of Moody's Analytics. Mark, you just heard what John Boehner said today. How does Wall Street take that comment? I think it's a big problem. The president says he's not going to negotiate on the debt limit. The speaker says he's not going to raise a debt limit until the president negotiates. So it's a game of chicken. And with each passing day, uh, this is going to get more anxious for stock investors, bond investors. And if they, lawmakers don't get it together by October 17th, it's going to be a collision, an economic collision that's going to wreck our economy. So this is a problem. If that collision happens, what happens if the debt ceiling doesn't get raised? Well, what it means is that the Treasury can't pay all its bills and can't make uh, payments on the nation's debt. Uh, that means at some point Social Security recipients aren't going to get a check in the mail. Medicare, Medicaid providers aren't going to get paid. Military personnel may not get their money on time. Uh, and, of course, investors are going to begin to wonder if uh, the Treasury is going to make payments to them. So it means falling stock prices. It means rising interest rates. Uh, ultimately, it means business is going to start pulling back, uh, cutting payrolls, unemployment is going to rise. We're going to be in, in a recession, and in a couple of weeks we'll be in a deep recession. Does all this get factored into the market right now, or do we have to wait a few more days or weeks? That's a good question. You know, I, I think uh, it's going to build uh, and intensify in the coming week. You know, stock investors f have seen this movie before. Each time the movie is played, it's ended the same way that lawmakers have come together at the uh, 11th hour and signed a piece of legislation. But if we get towards the end of the week and there is no progress, I'm confident that stock prices are going to start falling pretty, pretty significantly. In fact, it may take that to light a fire under law lawmakers to get them to come to terms. Mark, you've also seen this movie before during some of the worst of the financial crisis. In your opinion, does a deal happen? You know it better. And I, I can't imagine that lawmakers are going to take us down this incredibly dark path. So, uh, yes, I expect a deal, but, uh, you know, I had expected them to get it together before now, so I'm growing nervous. Mark Zandi, thank you very much.